Hello everyone, back to you into today's uh, first video, doing European Outlook for today's first video. So, as always on a Thursday, we have a look at the weather for the next uh, week to 10 days in detail uh, across Europe. And I shall get on with that for you uh, very shortly. Just say that coming up later on today, we're going to have a have a 10 to 14 day uh, video update, including all of regular features. And uh, we may have a look at Halloween and bonfire night uh, weather conditions uh, this evening. We might do a second uh, little update for Halloween and bonfire night. Uh, this evening. Uh, right, so the European outlook starts us off then. Uh, this is the current situation across Europe today. I just say that these uh, European outlooks are exclusive to YouTube. Uh, they aren't embedded to Gals Web and Stockholm. So uh, if you want to be uh, notified when we are releasing these European outlooks and the USA forecast on Wednesday, you will need to be subscribed to Gals uh YouTube uh, channel and uh, click all notifications. And uh, that's how you uh, how you can be notified uh, when we release the European outlook every Thursday. Right. So starting us off is going to be uh, weather today and uh, this situation across Europe. So high pressure is down across the southwest. We've got a nice little ridge across uh, across France and Spain. Uh, low pressure is out to the northwest, bringing in this strong southwesterly uh, wind, and that's going to be bringing outbreaks of rain into Ireland, uh, the UK, and western parts of Europe as well. Got a little bit of a cold ridge up over Scandinavia, trying to form, and then there's a warmer ridge over on the eastern side of Europe. Generally, some mild scene across many parts of uh, Europe today, with the upper air temperatures looking particularly mild across Western uh, Europe and also in the extreme east and southeast. Scandinavia does look colder. This is the uh, rainfall forecast today. So we've got heavy rain across many parts of Ireland and the UK, pushing uh, northeast ones. Some of that rain getting into the far north of France and also into the low countries, Belgium, Holland, Netherlands, turning quite wet as well. Going further eastwards, we've got some showers or some long spells rain across Germany and drifting northwards up in towards uh, Denmark and southern parts of the Baltic Sea. Uh, Scandinavia, a lot of dry weather up there, but it is cold. We've got outbreaks of snow across the northern parts of uh, Scandinavia. Coming down into the Training lots of dry weather actually through Med, particularly through the central western parts of the Med. There are a few showers over on the east side of Med and may extend northwards in towards uh, the Balkans. That's how temperatures looking uh, today. So quite cold up across Scandinavia. It's another cold day uh, up there. Generally much of Northern Europe looking a little bit on the chillier side. The further south we go, uh, the milder it gets, particularly through France, Spain and Portugal. And then through the Mediterranean as well. Temperatures there into the uh, low 20 Celsius in some of those areas. Also down into the southeast of Med uh, too. That's how Friday looks. So high pressure is uh, dominating tomorrow across most parts of Europe again. Uh, so we've got this ridge of high pressure to be set. West areas. Again, the low pressure is out to the northwest, bringing further outbreaks of rain into uh, the northwest of Europe. Nice and mild, in fact, quite warm through parts of southern France down to Spain and Portugal. A little bit cooler as we drift further northwards and eastwards. Again, northern parts of Scandinavia in particular looking quite cold there. And Ireland and the UK uh, looking uh, reasonably uh, mild also. That's how the uh, rainfall is looking tomorrow. So, uh, again, the batch of wet weather we've got across Ireland and the UK today has pushed northwards into like uh, southern parts of Sweden, down into Denmark, and into uh, northern Germany. As that pushes into the cold air that's uh, across Scandinavia, so that might turn to uh, snow. But generally, it's rain. Uh, down to uh, lower levels and a particular move down in towards Denmark and uh, Germany. It will just be outbreaks of rain there. Much of Scandinavia looking dry and cold. Uh, going further southwards, so across the eastern side of Europe, there's a few showers through there, but again, quite a bit of dry weather. I mean, dry conditions extend through the Mediterranean. Much of France, Spain, and Portugal uh, will be dry tomorrow. Some more outbreaks of rain coming back in towards Ireland, Wales, and southwest England by the end of tomorrow afternoon. Temperature-wise, Scandinavia is looking cold, especially those northern parts of Scandinavia. Sub-zero temperatures in the far north Scandinavia. Again, other areas further south was uh, pegged back into uh, just low single digits. Probably low to mid single digits uh, across some parts of Scandinavia. Going further south was uh, it becomes milder. So uh, into uh, the UK, for example, we'll be looking at temperatures of around 14 or 15 uh, degrees tomorrow, maybe a little bit higher than that. Down into France, probably up to around 17 or 18. Spain probably goes up to around 22, 23. That's into the low 70s Fahrenheit. And then pretty warm free and there. Again, temperatures widely into uh, the low 20 Celsius. It goes cooler as you run up the eastern side of Europe. 
Saturday looking wet and windy out across the northwestern part of Europe again. High pressure extending through many of these southern, central and eastern uh, areas. A nice ridge uh, through there. Pretty warm with the upper air temperatures through southern and central uh, Europe. The cold temperatures across Scandinavia, old cold upper air temperatures are receding uh, northwards a little bit. Quite mild across Ireland and the UK uh, as well. But the warmest conditions are like from Germany down through uh, through the low country into France, down to Spain and Portugal. Most parts of the Med looking quite warm as well. Rainfall forecast for Saturday looking wet and windy across the northwest of Europe. So outbreaks of rain and strong winds through Ireland, uh, much of the UK into the far northwest of uh, France as well, and also into the Bay of Biscay. Most other areas are looking dry uh, across Europe. There's a few, uh, few showers, wintry showers across Scandinavia going progressively more towards snow the further north you go, uh, of course. But most parts of Europe are looking dry until we run into these heavy showers and thunderstorms over on the eastern side of Europe, potentially on Saturday afternoon. Looks cold for Scandinavia and generally quite cold for many of these northeastern parts of Europe with temperatures pegged back again into like single digits, sub-zero temperatures for northern parts of Finland, uh, Sweden and uh, Norway as well. We go further southwards though and it becomes milder uh, once again temperatures widely across central, southern and western parts of Europe into uh, at least the mid to upper teens Celsius, some places through the med in particular getting into the low 20s Celsius. Sunday again is wet and windy across most parts of the northwest Europe, deep air of low pressure out in the Atlantic, thing bring further bouts of rain and strong winds indicated by these tight packed ice bars into the northwest Europe. The driest weather will be through southern, central, and eastern parts of Europe once again. Our rare temperatures are looking very mild or warm across most western and southwestern parts of Europe, although cooler air is beginning to dig in towards Northern Ireland and Scotland. That hells things uh, to come for next week. But overall, quite mild for many northern, western and central southern parts of Europe as we go through into uh, Sunday. Lots of rain in the northwest, so heavy rain extending from Ireland and the UK uh, over towards uh, many northwest parts of Germany, the Low Countries, up to Denmark as well, and then further northwards in towards uh, Sweden and also uh, Norway. And of course, as that rain engages with the cold air, but sitting over uh, Scandinavia, some of that will turn to snow, particularly over mountainous areas, but as you go further northwards with these outbreaks of rain, they will turn progressively to snow as they bump into that cold air. Most parts of the Med are looking dry. Most parts of East Europe are looking dry until we run into these thunderstorms uh, around the Black Sea, perhaps. Uh, temperatures look like that. So uh, quite cold again across Scandinavia and northeastern parts of Europe. Pretty chilly rain down the eastern side of Europe as well. The mildest weather, warmest weather is across western and southwestern parts of Europe. Again, Spain, for example, can well be seeing temperatures into the low 20 Celsius. Cooler air is beginning to dig in towards Ireland and the UK from off the Atlantic. Monday, we start to push those milder southerly winds over towards northern and eastern parts of Europe as cooler air begins to dig into the north and west with this area of low pressure swinging in from off the North Atlantic. Upper air temperatures show that the uh, very mild upper air temperatures are being shunted eastwards. Uh, things obviously becoming much milder across Scandinavia with those southerly winds. So a fall of lying snow will be starting to take place uh, there. And it begins to turn cooler though out to the north Northwest as these northwest winds begin to dig cooler air in towards Ireland, the UK, and northern and western parts of France. Outbreaks of rain on a cold front spreading in across France into the Low Countries up towards Denmark that turns progressively to snow for a time across Scandinavia, but will probably start to turn back to rain as those milder southerly winds uh, begin to dig in. Ahead of that, it's mainly dry across most central and eastern parts of Europe. Again, a few showers and thunderstorms around Black Sea. And make showers packing back in towards Ireland and the UK on those northwest winds. Temperatures are cooling down in the northwest of Europe, so it's becoming cooler uh, across Ireland and the UK. But at the same time, those milder temperatures are being shunted northwards and eastwards into northern and central parts of Europe. The far northeast still looks pretty chilly. Tuesday, we find uh, that we've got to low pressure up over Scandinavia. We've got a ridge beginning to build out towards uh, west of Ireland. And a uh, ridge is also sitting across the uh, northeast of uh, Europe and into west of Russia. Our rare temperatures look cooler for Ireland, the UK and France, also down into northern parts of Spain. At the same time, though, they are a good deal milder across much of Scandinavia. Going further eastwards, the northeast of Europe sees a bit of a warm up as those uh, warmer southerly winds begin to push milder uh, upper air temperatures into the northeast of Europe. And then, generally, most southern parts of Europe looking quite uh, warm as well on Tuesday. 
We've got quite a bit of rain push, uh, pushing eastwards on that cold front into central, northern and eastern parts of Europe. Still outbreaks of rain stretch from southern Germany down towards France and into eastern parts of Spain. Could be some thunderstorms mixed in there, turning brighter and more showery following along behind. And Scandinavia, again, we could have some showers uh, free there, maybe some longer spells of rain with mountain snow across parts of Norway. Temperatures are looking uh, like that on Tuesday. So generally it is turning cooler in the northwest of Europe, beginning to get colder again, I think, across, across Scandinavia. Island of the UK looking cooler. France, Germany, low coats also looking cooler as well. Even down to Northern Spain, it's looking cooler uh, through there. The warmest temperatures on Tuesday are probably through like the central med and over towards that southeastern uh, corner. When CC's high pressure begin to move in off the Atlantic increasingly as this trough of low pressure is being pushed uh, southwards. Other air temperatures are looking quite cold across uh, northern and northwestern parts of Europe where, 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 where we are in those green colours. Southern and eastern parts of Europe have the uh, milder upper air temperatures. Beginning to turn drier across Scandinavia, the UK and Ireland as that bridge of high pressure moves in from off the Atlantic. Some heavy uh, rain still continuing uh, particularly across eastern parts of France into Germany and western parts of Poland. Some showers breaking out through the Mediterranean. One or two of those could be thundery. The east and the northeast of Europe does look mostly dry. Temperatures are cooling down across many parts of Europe through the middle part of the week. So you see those green colours expanding, uh, telling us that temperatures widely are dipping down into low double digits or into single digits across many central and northern parts of Europe. Uh, generally, the milder temperatures are in the far south and southeast through the Med and into the southeastern corner of Mediterranean, where temperatures there could still be into the uh, mid-teens. Celsius. High pressure takes over on Thursday across uh, many uh, northern and western parts of Europe. We've got this ridge of high pressure uh, building in uh, through the uh, second half of next week. Other air temperatures are quite cool uh, in the north and west of Europe. Begin to get milder perhaps across more uh, more central and eastern areas. Again though, uh, with uh, high pressure dominated, we do also have to factor in that there could be cold, uh, cold uh, surface temperatures by this point under the ridge. Heavy outbreaks of rain setting in across uh, Spain and some of that begin to move in towards some parts of France. Could be thunderstorms mixed in there. Otherwise, under that ridge of high pressure, there is a lot of dry weather through many parts of Europe on Thursday. Temperatures do look quite chilly uh, next Thursday through many central northern areas. The mildest temperatures are down in the mem. I mean, I'll just run you through today. Tense. This is Friday next week, 6th of November. Heavy uh, outbreaks of rain uh, through Spain and Portugal with this area of low pressure. Otherwise, probably starting to draw up a milder southerly wind across western parts of Europe. High pressure still more or less in control though for many northern parts of Europe as we get towards day 10, 78th of November, should see high pressure dominating uh, the weather across northern Europe. Winds going easily, so that start, could start pulling some cooler air from uh, the east. There is a big area of low pressure across France, Spain and Portugal that probably brings further outbreaks of rain. Okay, so that is your uh, uh, detailed weekend uh, and 10, to 10 day forecast. Well, I don't know that. That's your detailed uh, week 10 day forecast for uh, Europe. Um, and uh, yeah, it looks like it's going to be, uh, you know, cooling down uh, after a mild start. Uh, across many parts of Europe next week. We're going to be back later on with your 10 to 14 day, but don't include all our break features, so come back that then. That's all for now, though, and thanks for watching.